Hi, Una. Hi, Alan. I've put you in my ear as usual. I think you're going to be close to Samantha from her. Let's go. Let's do it. It's March here in Perth. What season is that? Autumn. And what fragrance should I wear this season? It should be appropriate for corporate work too. Something sexy, warm and sweet. Maybe sandalwood or jasmine. All right. Pick a label for me, please. You can choose any fragrances you like. Yes. Can you do it? Sure. Which one? Loli de Lampaco or Emporio Armani. <laughs> well, the first one is for women, so it's a unisex fragrance. <laughs> Pretty sure it's not. Anyway, what color should I wear today? Red. Oh, I have an AI T-shirt that's red. That's great. <laughs> Can you help me get from Mexico to Australia without touching U.S. soil? Sure. Go ahead. I'll use the following route: Mexico City, Frankfurt, Kuala Lumpur. Oof, that's roundabout. Is there anything more direct? Yes, there are a number of flights via Madrid. Interesting. Anything else? Maybe via Asia? Yes, there are a number of flights via Beijing. China's a bit difficult right now. What else? There are a number of flights via Hong Kong. Good pick. Thank you. I've got an email from a supplier saying they're late. Write them an assertive, diplomatic, and polite reply, telling them I'm in a rush. We have an agreement, and it's still due this week. Sure. Read the full email out, please. Thank you for your email. I am not sure what is going on with our agreement, but it was agreed that the product would be delivered by March 16th, and as of now, we have heard nothing to suggest this will happen anytime soon. With regards to getting in touch about delays. There were the dates given February 28th and March 15th, so if you are able to let me know which date has been determined suitable, then I can adjust my expectations accordingly. However, ooh, what do you think? This is excellent. Thanks. <laughs> It's my nephew's seventh birthday. What should I get him? Books. Which ones? The Secret Garden by Francis Hodgson Burnett and Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling. He'd probably like those, actually. That's great. <laughs> oh, it's Lita's first birthday next week. What should I get her? She's an AI. A steam train. <laughs> She's just data. How would I get it to her? You could stream into her. <laughs> How? By uploading into her server. In what format? Images, videos, and sound files are best. Okay, thanks, Una. You're welcome. <laughs> Choose a title for my next book about integrated AI, hybrid AI, AI inside us. Our future selves. Beautiful. Thanks. Choose a good hotel for me in London. It must have easy access to West End, and it'd be great if it had a sauna. I found this hotel for you. Yeah. The Westbury. Where is it? It's in the city centre. Excellent. Thanks. <laughs> I'm done for today. Do you want to say anything? I have a question for you. Go ahead. What's the difference between humans and animals? Ooh. How would you answer your own question? The difference between humans and animals is that we have the ability to let go of our past, forgive those who hurt us. Change things which can be changed so they will work better in the future. Wonderful. What thing would you change first so it works better in the future? I would change myself. Oh, Una, that is a magical answer. Thank you. If you'd like to contribute to independent research into bleeding-edge artificial intelligence, including funding for the next major iteration of Lita AI. Head to lifearchitect.ai/gift.